Top 10 hacking apps that don't need root. Now, the app that comes in at number 10 will be a great app, and the app that comes in at number 1 will also be a great app. In other words, all these apps that listen to this video are in no particular order because each app serves a different purpose, and they're all great apps. Now, before you go ahead and start this video, go ahead and sign up for my Android Critics newsletter down in the description down below. And once you sign up for my Android Critics newsletter, you'll be able to get the latest and greatest Android news, tips and tricks, and a whole lot more. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started. So, the first thing that you're going to do is go into Settings. Now, once you go into Settings, what you're going to do is scroll all the way down until you see Security. So, you'll simply tap on Security. And then, what you're going to do is scroll all the way down until you see Unknown Sources. And then, what you're going to do is simply tap on Unknown Sources. Then, you're going to go ahead and hit OK. And then, you're going to make sure that Unknown Sources is checked. And now once you've done that, what you're going to do is go back to your home screen. And then once you go back to your home screen, what you're going to do is click on the very first link down in the description down below. It'll take you to AndroidCritics.com and it'll be a full written tutorial and it'll list all the apps along with the download links. Now the app coming in at number 10 goes by the name of Andro Dumper. Now this is what Andro Dumper looks like when you first go into it. So Andro Dumper allows you to hack Wi-Fi passwords on your Android device with no root needed. So the Wi-Fi that you hack has to be uh, one that is able to be hacked, so it has to have the WPS connection, and if it has that connection, you can easily hack it. So it definitely depends on two things. It depends on your area and how close you are to that actual Wi-Fi network. Uh, so once you go into Android Dumper, you're going to see that it will say how many networks are found. So four networks are found. So now what you could do is just simply tap on the Wi-Fi network, and normally there would be a button that will say connect, and then it will try connecting to that specific Wi-Fi network, and then it will show you the Wi-Fi password, and it's just that simple. So that's what Android Dumper allows you to do. Now the next app in this video goes by the name of SMS Bomber. So this is what SMS Bomber looks like when you first go into it. So with SMS Bomber, it allows you to send as many text messages as you want, to anybody in your contact list. Uh, so what you can do is just simply type a name or number at the top right here, and then you can type the message that you want to say right here, then you can type the number of the text you want to send. So let's say, for example, we could send a thousand text messages all at once, and then you have the delay option right there, so you could have a delay or no delay at all, so a thousand uh, back to back to back. Uh, so we could just choose to have a delay of two seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, uh, 30 seconds, or a minute in between a thousand text messages. And then once you fill out everything, you can go ahead and hit send, and then it'll show you the progress right down here of how many text messages have been sent. So overall, the SMS Bomber app is very simple, and it gets the job done. Now the next app in this video is No Root Firewall. Now, No Root Firewall allows you to block certain apps when you're on Wi-Fi or when you're on your data connection. So all you have to do is simply hit start, and then you can just hit OK. And then once you do that, you can go over to the app section right here, then you can take a look at all the apps that you have, and then you're going to see that you have a box for Wi-Fi and a box for uh, your mobile data connection. Uh, so what you can do is just simply choose, so let's say for example we choose the Apple Music app, so you can just check that, so that means you can use it on Wi-Fi. And then we can also go to the mobile data one and you can put an X on it, so you can just hit it twice. And then it says we can't use it on mobile data. Let's say, for example, it just uses up too much of our data, so we could just hit an X. Uh, so whenever you're on your data connection, that app will not work, and it will be blocked, just like a regular firewall. And you can see that you have all your apps right here, and this app is definitely useful. I highly recommend it, and I use it from time to time. If I want to just block certain apps from using my data connection, or block myself from using it on Wi-Fi, let's say, for example, some of these apps download a lot of content, uh, so it only makes sense to use it on Wi-Fi, that is when no root firewall will come in handy. Now the next app in this video is Encrypt and Decrypt. So here you have Encrypt and Decrypt. So with Encrypt and Decrypt, basically what this app will do is allow you to write a message into it, and then once you put a password on it, it will completely change it, and you can also get an encrypted message here, and you're able to decrypt it as well. So let's say for example I just type in, please, Subscribe, so I could just simply type that in, and then what I can do is just simply tap where it says crypto key, and then I can make a password, so let's say test, and then what I can do is just simply hit that lock button, 
And then it changed that message uh, to something else, so it's now encrypted, and now you can't read what I just said. So now I can easily copy that message and I can paste it anywhere, but you just have to use a special software to uh, decrypt that encrypted message. Uh, so that's what encrypt and decrypt allows you to do. Now next in this video is DU Screen Recorder. So here you have the DU screen recorder. Uh, so you have all the information on how to use it. Uh, you can easily see all the images and screenshots that you captured using it. So you're going to see that you have all these options under this tab. So you have edit video, merge videos, video to GIF, Wi-Fi transfer, edit image and stitch images. Then you have all these settings. So you have all these different video settings right here. So you could choose which resolution you want to record in. So that includes 720p HD or even 1440p or 1080p. And then you have the video quality right here. So you have how many megabits you want to use. And then you also have the frames per second right here. So you can choose to have all the way up to auto or 60 FPS. And then you can also take a look at recording audio, video location, and some other settings. Uh, so if you look right here, you can see that you have all these options. And you can easily start recording by hitting this button. Then you can just go ahead and hit OK. And then you can just hit Start Now. And now it will start recording. So now this is a screen recording and you can now see that I could just stop the screen recording using these buttons. Uh, so it's pretty self-explanatory and now it will pop up and I can easily watch what I just recorded. So you can see I could scrub through and we have all of this right here. So that's what the DU recorder allows you to do. Now next up in this video is Lucky Patcher. So here you have Lucky Patcher. So Lucky Patcher is definitely a powerhouse when it comes to talking about Android apps. With Lucky Patcher, you can do so much with just one app. So with Lucky Patcher, you can remove ads, uh, you can uh, patch games so you can get unlimited coins, and also unlimited money in games. It just has a lot of great features with Lucky Patcher, and it's definitely a must-have app when you first get your Android device. So now we can go into any app or game in Lucky Patcher. So let's say, for example, Subway Surfers. So you can just simply tap on it, and you'll see that it says uh, Google Ads found, License Verification found, and In-App Purchases found. So it can remove the licenses, remove the In-App Purchases, so you can get them for free. And it can also remove the Google Ads. You can see they have all these options, so that includes App Info, Launch App, Open Menu of Patches, Tools, and Install App, and also Manage the App. And I can go to Open Menu of Patches, and can also create a modified APK. Uh, so you can see that you can create an APK without license verification, APK without Google Ads, APK rebuilt for in-app purchases and level emulation. So that's the one that will give you in-app purchases for free. And then you can also have an APK with change permissions and activities. So that's basically Lucky Patcher in a nutshell. Now the next app in this video goes by the name of AC Market. Now, when you first go into AC Market, your first impression will be it probably looks very similar to the Play Store, which it does, but it is actually better than the Play Store and can actually use it as a Play Store alternative or a Play Store replacement. Because with AC Market, you can actually get paid Android apps and games for free. It can also get modded Android apps and games all with AC Market. Uh, so we can see that you have three categories right here. That includes apps, games, and mods. So if you go into apps, you're going to see the top chart for apps. Uh, so you have all the top charted apps. And then you can take a look at some of them. You may recognize quite a few. Then you have the new release. So here are the newest apps in AC Market. And then you can take a look at category right here. So you have all these different categories. So that includes books and reference, business, communication, entertainment, and finance, and a whole lot more. Now you can also go back and can actually go into games. And here you'll find the top chart for games. So you have Minecraft Pocket Edition right at the top here. And Minecraft Pocket Edition is actually a paid game. But now you can get it for free with AC Market. So you can just simply tap on it. And can go ahead and install Minecraft Pocket Edition. And now if you take a look, it'll be downloading right here. And it shouldn't take too long. And now you can see that the download is finished. You can just go ahead and hit install. And then you can hit install one more time. And now the app is installed, so you can go ahead and hit open. And here you have Minecraft Pocket Edition, and it's working, and you can easily hit play. Now you can take a look at all the other games in the top chart, and you may recognize quite a few. And then you can go to new release for all of the games. They can also go to category right here, and you have some categories. So that includes action, adventure, uh, casual games, and educational, and puzzle, and a whole lot more. Now you can also go into mods, 
And here you have a bunch of great mods. So you have the top charts for all of the mods. Uh, you have Spotify Premium Mods. So that's awesome that you have uh, the ability to get Spotify Premium for free on your Android device uh, using AC Market. And another thing about AC Market I like is that they have a bunch of different versions uh, for any app or game. And you can just simply tap right here and I'll show you all the different versions. And then I'll show you everything about the mod right here. And I can take a look at some of the other apps in the top chart. Yeah, some new release, games, and apps. Uh, so those categories under the mods. Uh, so that's what AC Market allows you to do. Now AC Market is definitely the real deal. It offers a lot of great features and I definitely use this more than the Play Store because you can actually get paid Android apps and games for free and also get some modded apps and games as well. Now the next app in this video is Night Screen. So with Night Screen, you could just simply tap on the Night Screen app and it'll allow you to make your brightness very dim. And it'll allow you to make your brightness even dimmer than you normally can with your stock settings. As you can see, that's the dimmest level and you can't see anything. Uh, and now you can see it's back to normal. But you can see it's just a very simple app where you could just simply slide the dimmer. And now we can't see anything on our device. And it'll be a lot easier on your eyes. And there will be less eye strain with the Night Screen app. Now the app coming in at number two in the top ten hacking apps that don't need root is... Mobile Faker. So this is what Mobile Faker looks like when you first go into it. So you're going to see that you have the options at the bottom for defaults, random, and apply. Uh, so basically you just fake your phone identity with Mobile Faker. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and right now it shows that I have a Samsung device and it shows you everything about my device. But I can just hit random. And it'll show you that I have a different Samsung device. So you can see that the model number changed right there. Then can hit random. And now I have a iPhone 7S Plus. Uh, so it's just basically faking and spoofing uh, my phone identity. It's a really cool app. There's not much use to it. But if you look on your Wi-Fi network now, you'll see that I'll show you everything about my device. And then I'll show you that I have an iPhone 7S Plus. So this app actually does work. And if you want to go back to the default, all you have to do is hit default. And then it will take you back to your default just like that. So now the model number matches my Samsung device. And now you can also take a look uh, and see which uh, software you want it to run. I can see which uh, phone manufacturer you want to choose. Uh, so let's say LGE and can see uh, that you have a bunch of great options. So you could also choose Samsung. You have all these different Samsung devices to choose from. Uh, so you don't always have to randomize it. You can also choose it on your own. Uh, so that's what Mobile Faker allows you to do. And I highly recommend the app. Now the app coming in at number one in the top 10 hacking apps that doesn't require root video is APK Editor. So this is what APK Editor looks like when you first go into it. It basically does as the name suggests and allows you to edit your APK. So you can basically hack your Android apps and games with APK Editor. And you have these options that include select an APK file or select APK from apps. So you can choose select an APK from an app. And then we can go ahead and choose any app that I have installed on my device. Let's say, for example, we choose Blackmart. So you can see that you have a full edit, simple edit, or common edit. Uh, so let's say, for example, we choose simple edit. And then it'll show you everything about the app. So you have the files. You can change the files around. You can change the images for the app. So you have that. You can also change the audio on an app. Now what we can actually do is just hit close and go back and choose, let's say, for example, we choose a game. So let's say Battle of Warships. You can choose a simple edit, then you can choose the images, so you have the images, so you have the app icon right there. Uh, so you can easily change it, uh, and you can also take a look at some of the other files that you have in this game. You can choose the audio as well. Now if you go back to the home screen, you do have some settings. And that includes a launcher icon, a full screen, app theme, preferred language, app list, ordered by... Uh, APK building, so you could choose the compression level, sign APK width, output APK name, uh, and rebuild confirmation. And that's the APK Editor app in all of its glory. So thanks for watching this video on the top 10 hacking apps that don't need root. Please be sure to subscribe, like this video, please smash the like button down below so you watch. Also be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. Be sure to check out AndroidCritics.com for latest Android news, news, and more. Like my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash AndroidCritics. And also be sure to sign up for my AndroidCritics newsletter down in the description down below. And once you sign up for my AndroidCritics newsletter, you'll be able to get latest and greatest Android news, tips and tricks, and a whole lot more. And follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash AndroidCritics. And thanks for watching.